Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care. In this episode I'd like to explain Fuchs dystrophy since we've recently had a patient with Fuchs dystrophy and there's a lot of good information to share about it. Fuchs dystrophy or corneal endothelial dystrophy is a genetic problem that's common we see very frequently, usually in patients over 50 years old. To understand Fuchs dystrophy, remember, let's take a look at the cornea where the problem is, which is the clear shield that covers over the front of the eye. On the back layer of the cornea is a set of pumps that help pump water out of the cornea back into the eye to keep the cornea thin and clear. In Fuchs dystrophy, these pumps don't work like they should and the dysfunction can lead to swelling in the cornea and a bumpy or irregular layer on the inside of the cornea. This usually starts in the center and can spread out towards the sides of the cornea to involve the whole cornea. This is a genetic condition which means it's passed down from parents to their children and it's passed in a dominant manner, which means if one of the parents has this problem, there's a 50% chance that they will pass it on to their children. When people have Fuchs dystrophy, they may notice that their vision initially begins to blur or become cloudy. They may notice trouble with glare from lights coming on at night, or things just aren't as sharp as they used to be. As the disease worsens and the cornea can begin to swell and become even more cloudy, their vision can decrease, particularly after they wake up in the morning. A lot of times when this first happens, the vision can clear a little bit more later in the day as the eyes have been open and exposed to the air where they have more of a chance to dry out. Since they can get more swelling when their eyes are closed during sleep, and there's not as much evaporation from the cornea. In the later stages, this can lead to painful swelling and breakdown of the surface that can be very uncomfortable. We can find Fuchs dystrophy during an eye exam, and one of the other tests we like to do is measure the thickness on the cornea with a special ultrasound that can give us an idea of what stage it's at and if it's progressing or not. The treatments for Fuchs dystrophy begin with drops that's a, a strong salt solution that can help decrease the swelling. But when this no longer works, patients may need to consider a cornea transplant in order to clear the cornea, improve the vision, and also may help improve pain in people that have it. There's a lot of great treatments available now for Fuchs dystrophy including a new inner layer corneal transplant called DSEC that has had great success. If you have any questions about Fuchs dystrophy, please don't hesitate to post on our Facebook. We can interact with you there. And we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.